Subscribe to Card Kaizoku? I'm not! I'll subscribe. Cardi Kaizoku. We have a Ace versus a Katakuri. We'll go first. I'm starting to think that this matchup is unwinnable for us. But we have a good start this time actually, so we'll keep. See what happens. We'll play a buggy. And we whiff. Okay, I take that back. We're just gonna lose. Yeah, Ace is just not fast enough to kill them before they heal enough for us to not be able to kill them anymore. But, we'll just see what happens this game. We'll play an Ezo. Uh, we'll take a Crossfire. We'll do 2 down on Buggy, attack for 5. Hope they don't get a trigger. Oh no, they're reading something. They trigger a Cracker, god dang it! And he'll have double attack. We'll attack with our leader for 5. Take. We get a brulee trigger as well. We'll pass. Okay, this game is over. We lose. They do dawn on cracker. Attack us for seven. We'll take double hit. We get a right white beard pirates trigger. We'll use it. And we'll whiff. What the heck? This is my most unlucky game. Maybe they'll attack with leader for five and play pedal spiral. Or Dawn on Leader, attack for 7, and 2 Dawn on Sanji to draw a card. Yeah, that sounds better. Nope, they attack with their Leader for 5 into Buggy. Buggy die. 3 Dawn on Sanji then. And they play a Strusen. They kill our Izo. They do 2 Dawn on Sanji, attack us for 5. Counter for 1k. And they pass, we'll attack. Cracker with our leader for 5. This is an easy 1k counter. They have it. We'll play Marco and kill Sanji. We'll pass. And that brulee kind of ruins things for us because our flame emperor isn't as scary if they can just block our leader hit. But at least we have 2 so we can just use it for removal next turn. They themselves have been pretty aggressive with their removal. So they're pretty low on cards in hand. They're at 6 Dawn, so we don't have to worry about a 7 cost Big Mom just yet. They do 3 Dawn on Cracker, attack us for 8k. We have to take... We may just attack with their leader for 9, or for 7. We attack for 7. Do I want to be at 1 life? I don't. We will counter for 3k. They have 2 Dawn up for any Koku Sovereignty, that sucks. We'll attack their Cracker with our Marco for 6. Oh, they Power Mochi instead. What does this do? Okay, that lets them counter for 2k. Uh, Ace would be better than Flame Emperor, right? I should have played Ace first, and then Power Mochi wouldn't have been enough. I misplayed. Play Ace, get minus 3k to Cracker and Brulee. We'll attack Cracker with our leader for 5k. Cracker dies. We'll attack their leader with Ace for 7. They'll take this and I hope they don't get a trigger. Oh, they block with Brulee. We'll pass. We can kill their 10 cost Big Mom with the Flame Emperor plus Crossfire. But at that point in the game, I don't think that'll save us. They attach 6 Dawn to leader to attack somebody for 12. Our ace. Ace is dead. We pass with 2 Dawn open again. Uh, do I just Flame Emperor for the double hit then? That's all I can do. Yeah, we'll do it. See, if it's Ikoku Sovereignty, this will be 10k. Let's Flame Emperor, 2 Dawn on Leader. Attack for 10k. So they need Ikoku Sovereignty and a 1k counter on top of it. Well, at least get 2 cards out of their hand. They could have discarded the Crossfires to add 2k more, but oh, they took anyway. They get a Shirahoshi trigger. And this is some Cycle 2 cards. Oh no, they draw 3 and trash 2. They discarded a 10 cost Big Mom, so they may have another one. And then we get, they get another brulee trigger, perfect. 
We'll attack the leader with Marco for 6. Get blocked with Brule, we'll pass. Okay, I got two Brule triggers and a Cracker trigger, and then they have a 10 cost Big Mom as well. They attack our leader with the Katakuri for 5. Um, hmm. We'll discard a Crossfire to counter for 1k. Alright, we can kill Big Mom with Crossfire Flame Emperor. And then we'll have one Dawn open for a Radical Beam. Crossfire, Big Mom, Flame Emperor to kill. Attack their leader for 8 with ours. Maybe we'll get another double hit here. The counter for 4k, we'll attack with Marco for 6. They take, no trigger, perfect, we'll pass. We can counter for 6k this turn. Maybe just enough to survive. The good thing Shirahoshi has zero power. Okay, this game is a lot closer than I initially thought it would be. I just got like my ass handed to me by a few other Katakuri players that I just gave up hope in this matchup. They play another Shirahoshi to try to look for an answer, I guess, but what can they do for 5 Dawn? They find a Brulee. Jesus. They do down on leader and attack somebody for 7, probably our leader. For 7, we'll have to Radical Beam. Defend. And they pass and we get another 2k counter that doesn't help us. I guess we just split the Dawn. Or Dawn on Marco, attack for 10k at leader. A block with Brule. Do four down on leader. Five down on leader. Attack for 10k. We'll leave one down in case this is a radical beam in our life. They take their last life. We'll pass, and then they may just play a 10 cost big mom to heal it back up. Oh, but then we would win next turn. Let's see what they do. They have one more brulee in deck, right? Yeah, there's three here. No, there's four here. Okay, no more brulees to worry about. There is another yellow blocker, but I don't remember the name of that card. They play a seven cost big mom. If we trash a life, they can attack for 9k. We have to give them one life or else they win. Right? Yeah. Unfortunate. They do two down on their leader. They attack Marco for 8k. Counter for 4k. And they pass. Oh, we get an ace. Right, we can do one Dawn Marco, attack for 7, two Dawn on Ace, attack for 7, and then attack with our character Ace for 7. We'll attack with Marco for 7 first. They play Power Mochi, they counter for 2, they need 1k more. They counter with the Kaido. Whoa, I've never seen this guy. We'll do two Dawn on Leader, attack for 7. Take. Play ace, attack for seven, and hope it's enough. Come on. They counter for 4k, we lose. They do down on leader, attack us for seven, we take. It was a buggy. And they just have to attack with Big Mom. And we lose. Let's try to get a rematch. Nice. Finally, a yellow player that rematches. What the heck is this hand? Um, you know what? Let's keep it. Feeling crazy. We play a pudding. We can kill that with Marco. 
pick up a Strosen, Strudel, uh, we'll play a Izo. Uh, should we start picking up some event cards? Or another Marco? Let's take an event. We won't play it this turn, we'll pass. We'll use it as fodder to revive our Marcos. Play a second pudding, we can kill that with the second Marco. We pick up a 10 cost big mom. And then they'll just attack us for 8k maybe. We play Strusen, discard a card to kill our Ezo. They attack us for 7k with their leader, we'll take... Uh, we can't play our Marco just yet, so we'll attack with leader for 5. We counter for 1k, we'll play blocker Marco and pass. Yeah, they use their strudel pretty offensively. Oh, I usually never activate or use my one cost characters to attack much unless I have like a ace out to give characters minus three cost. Put one down on leader attack us for seven, we'll take this as well. We pass, we could do Otama Marco to kill Cracker. We'll play Otama first, give Cracker minus two. We'll attack with our leader. Oh no wait, he's not tapped. We'll just play Marco now and kill Cracker. Attack our leader for 5 with our leader. We counter for 1k, we'll attack with the blocker Marco for 5. They take, no trigger, perfect, we'll pass. As long as they don't get 3 triggers like they did last game, we could win. They play 7 cost Big Mom, we'll trash 1 card. It was the ace. They attack our blocker Marco with their leader for 5k. We'll use a Marco to counter for 1k. They pass and we find another Marco. I want to Ezo and try to find a flame emperor, but that's pretty risky. We'll take the risk. We find it. Very lucky. Uh, we'll flame emperor to kill big mom. Attack their leader for 8k. Hope we get a double hit here. Nope, they counter for 4k. We'll attack with blocker Marco for 5. They take. They get a trigger. That's after I said that I hope they don't get any. We'll attack with other Marco for 6. They take. They get another trigger, but it's just a Shira Hoshi. Not too bad. We'll pass. But luckily, we have ways to bring back both Marcos since we have uh, White Beard Pirates as fodder in hand. We do 3 Dawn to play a Brulee. They always seem to go through their Brulees pretty early. This is a third Brulee that we see from their deck. They do 3 Dawn on putting an attack on Marco for 5. Counter for 1k. We'll save this Marco to kill the Brulee. They do 3 down on the Pudding and attack our Blocker Marco for 5k again. Let him die, bring him back. They attack our leader with their Brulee for 5k. We'll discard uh, White Beard Pirates to counter for 1k. Attack with their leader for 5k. We'll take this one. And they pass. Hmm. Is it better to play ace? Well, first off, we'll attack pudding with our Ezo for 2. Pudding dies. Maybe Ace is better. No, Marco is better. No, Ace is better. Yeah, if we play Marco, we still can play Buggy and try to find more event counters. We'll play Marco, kill the Brulee. We'll uh, attack Smoothie with our leader for 5. Movie dies. Uh, 
Uh, we'll attack their leader with Marco for 6. We take, they get another Shirahoshi trigger. I guess we'll attack their pudding with their blocker for 5. If he dies, we'll play Buggy, replace Otama. Uh, we'll take a Flame Emperor, that's our only choice. Then we'll leave all this Dawn open for defense. We'll pass. They play 10 cost, Big Mom. I think we can afford to trash. Because we can Radical Beam and then use these event counters. Oh, yeah, use these events as 1k counters. They do 3 down on leader, attack us for 9. We'll Radical Beam. And we'll use Crossfire for the 1k counter. And we win! Nice. And they leave! Nice. Okay, bye. Kaizoku.